What's good, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. If you're not subscribed to the channel, hit that subscribe button, smash that like button. We're gonna get right into this tutorial. Uh, in today's hair tutorial, we have a uh, the beginning of a mullet for my client here. And uh, what we're gonna do is start off by combing the hair and directionalizing it the way that it needs, that it, the way that it naturally wants to lay. So we're saturating the hair with water. And the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a traveling guideline uh, down the center of the hair. We're gonna start off uh, towards the, the cowlick at the back and work our way to the front of the head. And I'm just uh, scooping hair from the very center and I'm making the traveling guideline. We're taking off about half an inch. And uh, this is gonna be used to cut hair on the left and the right side of the head. So you can see I'm combing the hair to the left taking a, a section of the left side and a little bit of a section of the middle and you can see where my guideline is at and we're just trimming anything that's sticking out protruding from my fingers past that guideline now this is just you know a foolproof method uh simple sheer work on how to knock down bulk on the top and keep your your cuts even so what we do to the left side we're gonna do the right side as well so you can see here we're cutting anything off that's protruding and um, just sticking to that guideline, staying close to that guideline, um, staying as close to that guideline as possible so we can have an even cut. Now, once we do the top portion, I will uh, attack that area along the ridge. And what we're doing basically is tying in all that hair that's gonna be growing on the back into the top of the hair and just blending it together. So on the back side, I used a, a traveling guideline down the, down the back and I just scoop some hair to the left and knock out that that hair using that guideline work my way to the right side and do the same now uh, just like anything you want to make sure that you're maintaining symmetry and that's all i was doing there and now what we're doing is we're going to blend around the ridge area on the front portion of the head where the taper is going to be sitting at we're going to be doing a high taper so i'm just knocking down bulk around the ridge where the uh, taper area is going to meet the hair on the top so what we do to the left side, we're gonna do it to the right side. And uh, right here, you can see I'm, I'm making a 90 degree cut. So my fingers are flush against his, his scalp um, towards the tip of my fingers. And there's a 90 degree angle as I'm cutting up. Now, once we are done with the shear work, we're gonna start attacking the taper. And this is gonna be a high taper, so there's gonna be no C cup. And um, I'm using my Stylecraft Pro Absolute Hitters. And these are some great trimmers. I highly suggest them, but we knocked out all the hair. And uh, after I do that, we're gonna go ahead and take our Andis Profile Shaver and just get this all knocked down to bald. I'm gonna start by pressing hard towards the bottom. And as I reach the bald line at the top, I will be lifting up a little bit and kind of just dabbing at the line. That way we don't make a harsh bald line using those shavers. Now, the next thing we're gonna do is gonna use our JRL 2020s. If you have not seen my review on these, I'll leave a link in the corner. You can check those out. But we started off by uh, having the lever open and uh, we're just creating a panel of hair to fade into. I have that circular motion right there. So I'm using the corners of my blades to uh, etch away this line. You don't want to use the whole blade because it's a small area to fade, a small area to taper. So I'm just using um, the two, three, you know, first two to three, four teeth of the blade to uh, fade in that area where it's rounding. And I'm using the um, the other half of the blade at the top right there. You see, I have it flat flush because uh, we're going against the grain. Now on the circular motion part, I'm using just a few teeth because it's a tighter area to fade. And you don't want to take away too much from that area. But after we do that, I have the, uh, the one guard on there. And I'm just making another panel of hair to fade into. And you can see uh, the hair that is, is uh, beneath that line, that guideline that we need to fade away. Now I'm gonna take that half guard and we're just gonna lever play. So we're gonna slightly open the lever, fade up, slightly open the lever, fade up until that entire area is faded out. And you wanna see that line disappear between uh, uh, at the bottom of your guideline. Now, this is just a foolproof method on how to fade, how to taper. Um, you follow these steps, I promise you won't get lost. Um, you'll, you'll maintain consistency with your haircuts and you'll just continue to put out blurry work after blurry work, which is our goal is to make sure that we have the most, you know, eye peeling haircuts that we can. That's what's gonna get people in our chair. But now I have that one and a half guard on there 
lever open. We're creating another panel of hair to fade into. And once I have that lever open, I do close the lever and we're going to begin to lever play. I'm using my comb to make sure I directionalize the hair where it needs to lay. And we're going to go against the grain um, using those um, JRL 2020s. And on these JRLs, I am using uh, wall guards with these clippers. And uh, at this point, I have that two guard open and I'm scooping the hair with the comb and feeding it into the blade to make sure that we have a good even cut. And you can see here that this taper is taking shape, it's taking form, it's it's nice and blended. And there's a little few spots here and there that do need to be um, you know, touched up and, and detailed, but we will get to that. Um, you wanna make sure that you're constantly using your comb to make sure you feed, uh, directionalize the hair where it needs to lay. Now, I'm doing a clip over comb method here. I have the comb flush against his head, the, the right above the ear, and I'm scooping away and just blending. Um, essentially, this is just like a 90 degree cut that we're doing, and I'm, I'm scooping out as I reach the end of the comb and just getting this area blended. Um, towards the back there because we're not taking any bulk off the back so i'm just trying to make sure that we have this uh blended to where it doesn't look super disconnected because that's not the that's not the look we're going for you, we want the mullet to flow we want it to um not so much be a disconnected cut or undercut type looking haircut but you see the the taper is nice and blurry and now we're going to get to the edge of portion of the haircut i have those absolute hitters and i'm just etching away at the line right around the ear um, you want to make sure you're not going too high uh, you don't want to uh, white wall a client if you don't know what white walls are white walls are like uh by like the area where i'm using the trimmers by completely rounding it rounding it out and leaving it super exposed bald in that area taking the the roundness high above the ear um like like white wall tires on old-fashioned vehicles so usually when somebody wants to get like white walls it's usually an older client i've noticed um i don't cut a lot of older clients but when i did in school they always used to tell me to uh, taper the back white wall around the ears and so that's essentially what that is right there but we're edging up at the nape area like i said this client is growing a mullet so we're not going to um taper this or cut any bulk off because you know then you're defeating the purpose of you know the essential reason why you're growing it so you want to make sure that you are having client consultations that you are you know discussing with your client the look they're chasing the look they're going after and uh give them the, boss, the best possible service you can now right here we have those thinning shears and i'm just um trimming a little bit here and there where i see darker spots and getting that knocked out but i did time lapse this side of the haircut because it's the same exact steps as the other side uh, I don't need to beat it in the head. So uh, just stay tuned and we're gonna get to the edge of portion. Um, like I said, you wanna maintain symmetry with your haircut. So whatever you do to the right side, do to the left side. Whatever you do to the left side, do to the right side. And that will um, ensure that you have a, a haircut that flows together. Now I'm slicing at this hair here diagonally just to create a little bit more texture with the haircut. Um, he doesn't want his bangs um, edged up like straight across or anything like that. He wants a more natural looking um, front end of his haircut. So we're not gonna do much to that. We're just gonna create some texture by slicing through. And then we're gonna go ahead and knock out this, uh, knock out the bang area. Now with the bangs, I'm not gonna make a, a super harsh, a blunt cut that, you know, is gonna leave a super, super precise uh, edge up in the front. Uh, so what I'm doing basically is just point cutting the front part of the edge up and making sure that we just have a natural looking edge up for my client. He has a lot of curls, his hair is really curly. So um, after, I, I, after I knock out this edge up portion of the haircut, uh, I'm just gonna take my shears and just point cut and just knock out any little flyaways that are protruding farther than the hairline and just try to make sure that we keep it as neat as possible. And once we're completely done with the shears, I will revert back to those absolute hitters. And I'm just gonna knock out that vertical bar area, gonna edge it up. Um, these these edges, they attack any hairlines, uh, super, super crispy. They get them super precise. So I, that's what I really love about these uh, trimmers the most. So you can see the vertical bar is, you know, it's coming out nice and sharp. But you know, after we do use the trimmers, I will go back and I will use the, um, 
the razor to clean it up and make sure that we have that super, super, super bold and sharp and clean in that edge up area around the vertical bars. So I did cop the uh, 245 green triple cartridge razor when it went down to Fort Worth to go to the Sean Cuts Hair Color Card. I'm, I'm sorry, the Sean Cuts Hair um, Look and Learn. So it's just a dope experience to be down there. Like I said, I got the JRLs and I got this uh, new razor holder down there. But um, you can see the haircut is coming along nice and blurry, super precise. I'm gonna throw some hair spritz on there. And this, this is gonna be the style portion of the haircut. And basically I'm gonna use the, the wide tooth uh, comb and just kind of just, you know, comb at this area. Um, go diagonally, go straight, and just create some texture on the top using those white white teeth on that comb, and just to make it give give it a, a a more natural, messy, you know, type look, something you know less um, cosmetic, so to speak. But you can see, you know, we've got a great looking cut going here. He's got a great start to his mullet, but that's the haircut. Uh, appreciate everybody for tuning in today. If you're not subscribed to the channel, hit that subscribe button, smash that like button. Got more content coming soon. Uh, go check out my last video, which was the JRL uh, review. Let me know what you think. If you have them, let me know what you like about them or what you don't like about them. And also go to your boy's Instagram, at jblends underscore. Go blow up my notifications. But until next time, God bless.